For the next 24 hours, we will show you what it's like to live in a van in Portugal and a full van tour of this Volkswagen California. Good morning from our very cozy van. But outside it is about 10 degrees because it is January in Portugal. I'm gonna jump in the driver's seat and we're gonna to head to a beautiful place where we can wake up to the sunrise. What a way to wake up. It's so beautiful out here. I can't get over this coastline. We're just going for a little early morning stroll along the cliff edge so we can have a little look at the waves and the cliffs along here. It is so beautiful here at the moment. And because it's January, there's actually not many people here in Portugal. There's a few surfers around and a few older people in camper vans. But apart from them, it's not too busy here in Portugal. I can see some surfers heading down to the beach for an early morning surf. I'm not sure I would want to be in the water right now because the water's not even in the sun, but we do have wetsuits, so we will go swimming at some point today. After a little bit of morning exercise, I think it's time we fill our tummies with some breakfast. Amelia is just making us some beautiful granola she cooked earlier, fresh from the oven, also known as from Lidl. And then we're gonna give you a big old tour of this van because there's so many cool little features in this van because it's one of the, I think it is the latest model of the Volkswagen California. So there's some cool stuff we wanna show you. Amelia put these bananas in the fridge and she was like, why have they gone like that? And I said, that's because you put them in the fridge. I never knew that you couldn't put bananas in the fridge. I'm not sure I want them anymore. It is finally time for a good old tour of this van. So this is the Volkswagen California Surfer Suite from Road Surfers and they've actually gifted us this van for this week. It's easy to get around the small streets of Portugal. Anyway, let's take you into the main bit. We've got this sliding door in here and this is like the main living area space plus goes into like the sleeping bedroom area as well. Back here we have two seats and then we've also got two seats here. So if you want to, you can actually drive with four and it also sleeps four people. I know in this very small space, but let's start off with the kitchen area. So in here we actually have a fridge. It's probably 20, 30 liters. So in here we actually have a two double burner so you can cook lots of stuff. And then at the end of the kitchen, we have a little tap so we can just wash our dishes, brush our teeth, wash our hands, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. Anything you need water for basically, we use that for. Down here, we have a big cupboard full of like lots of stuff. We've got pull out things, spoon, forks, salt, knife, all that kind of stuff. Loads of storage for all your kitchen appliances. Same in here. If you look in here, you've got loads of food storages. When you want to eat, all you got to do is press this little lever here and out comes at the table and a hang and let me just open this up click it into place push that down we've got a table and you can actually turn these seats around so joel and i can sit at the table together it's not just him on his own obviously we don't really need the lighting on at the moment but there is lots of lighting we've got lights here here and what we found a little little secret thing i don't think many people know is if you hold the lights you can either make them brighter or you can make them darker. Around here, um, you probably can't see from there, but we've actually got a couple of switches, some charging points. The also the thing is this place is packed with loads of little pockets, loads of places to store stuff. One of the great things about this van is you can completely block out all the light. Every window has a blind, which makes it completely dark, even if you're sleeping in the middle of broad daylight. In this cupboard, this is where we fit most of our clothes. It's such a big space and Amelia could probably fit in here, it's that big. They've thought of everything, Volkswagen. They've done a really good job here. Yeah, well done, Volkswagen. Well done. There's also a little cupboard up here, so we've put our wash bags and just other stuff up there. Amelia's gonna take over and show you the front of the cabin. As I said, this seat does turn around, so it feels a lot more spacious. And then up here is really cool. We have kind of a control panel. There's lots of different things. It kind of tells you how much water you've got, how much wastewater, and how much battery you have left, which is really important stuff. You don't want to go somewhere and not have enough water for the night. And it's touchscreen. So if you swipe, you can actually get your heater here so you can heat up the van at night, which is really nice and especially good in the winter time. 
and then you can put it on camping mode so that only the lights in the main bit turn on and they have this level of thing so you can actually see how level the van is it's really not very level right now you can see we kind of are on a tilt so we probably wouldn't want to sleep in this spot but it's good to know you can also control the fridge and all the lights from here and you can even set an alarm clock which is pretty cool we haven't tried that yet but maybe tomorrow morning with regards to the battery, there's actually two batteries in this van. You have the regular car battery and then you actually have the camping battery and these are separate. And as you drive the main car battery, it's actually going to charge the camping batteries. If you stay still for a few days, you're probably going to run out of charge on the camping battery, but you can actually plug in at the back on the outside as well. But if you keep driving every day or every couple of days, then your battery is just going to get recharged and you're never going to actually have to plug in. You're probably thinking, how can four people sleep in this small van? Well, you can actually pop up the roof. So you just press this and you can hear the roof is actually going up. And we just slide this back and push this up and you can actually stand up properly, which is really nice. So you're not kind of hunched over the whole time when you're cooking. <laughs> So now we're onto the first floor of this van. Up here, it is almost like you're camping, so you can open up all the sides. So if it is really hot, you're gonna stay a lot cooler than down there because in the summer, it probably gets really warm down there. So the other great thing is here, you've actually got lights on the ceiling. So this light here can turn on and turn off. And again, you've actually got a little plug socket here so you can plug in a little cigarette like charger thing and you can charge your phone or your laptop. So now to get to the other bed, we actually have to pull this lever. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. <laughs> this lever on the right, and you basically pull this forward. And then there's another lever here, which comes out of the seat, and you just pull it back. Oh, I forgot one step. You pull this lever and the bed goes flat. The nice thing about this is you don't just sleep on the seats and the seat belt things. You can actually pull out this little mattress and it's actually really comfortable. I've been really impressed with that. On the back of this van, we actually have a bike rack. We obviously don't have our bikes with us, but if you did, you can actually bring them along with you. In here, we have the roof space, or what I like to call the garage space. In this box, we actually have our wet wetsuits and stuff, so it's really nice to keep things completely away. Amelia's even got a yoga mat, which is pretty nice. In here, we also have another cupboard. I've got just my coat in here, but under here is actually where you can access the gas for the hob. We've got the gas underneath, but what I really wanted to show you is the little outdoor shower. So after you come back from a little swim or a surf, or you just got sandy feet from the beach, you can actually just pull this out and you can attach this to the back and you can get some water. So a little flick here to turn on the water pump. Please don't spray me. And we can, <laughs> I won't do it. I'll just wet my foot. Actually, I don't need to do that. I can wash the car, a little bit dirty, but yeah, perfect. So we have decided that we're going for a swim and because it is January and we're in Portugal, we're not in the Caribbean or somewhere. This is the Atlantic Ocean and it gets pretty old pretty old pretty cold so we're putting on our wetsuits to try and keep warm because it's freezing in there you look so comfy right now i'm actually not very comfortable this is hurting my neck but it's so cold out there i just want to stay in here it's so smug it's like a bit of a greenhouse situation going on in here so it's you the sun has warmed this up but it's actually pretty cold outside mm. even though it is a sunday because it is January, there's hardly anyone on the beach. If you came here in July and August, it would be full of tourists. I'm feeling a bit warmer now I'm moving. Yeah? Moving, yeah, but you've got your wetsuit on. You've got to go in the cold water in a minute. Yeah, but the water does look so blue here. And we are on this beautiful beach. We have the ocean in front of us, the scary cold ocean, and we're just thinking about how we're going to go in there. Do you think if we go in backwards, then we won't notice we're going in and we'll just end up in the sea before we know it. Maybe. There is no one else swimming on this beach at all, apart from a couple of surfers who are in very thick, dry suits. And then there's us. I think we're doing it right. Don't make me do this. I'm seriously regretting our decision, but we can't back off now because we've come this far. We've told people we're going in the water. Woo! That is fresh. This is not a winter wetsuit. This is for triathlons in the summer, not winter. Is it cold? The head shock is unreal. Are you ready? Attack the wave. Oh. 
chilly on the face. Everyone's staring at me. <laughs> See, once you get in the water, it's actually kind of nice. You just need that layer of water between you and the wetsuit to warm up. <laughs> that was actually a really refreshing swim. I'd do it again. I would go again. I'd recommend it. Come to Portugal in winter, go for a swim, but bring a wetsuit maybe, because without that, you're not going to stay in long. Yeah, you're going to be in there <laughs> about a minute top, so then you're going to be straight out. But we had a comfortable 20 minute swim, I think. Yeah, it was nice. Playing in the waves. We're back up now and it's now time to show you how you can shower in this van. Obviously it's not a filming shower because it is literally the size of a large car, but they do have this outdoor shower and Amelia is going to give it a go, even though it's freezing cold. Go on then, be brave. <sighs> oh, that was bold. <laughs> We have just arrived on this beach. I'm not even sure what it's called, but it, I've seen it all over Instagram. It's very famous and it is huge. Like it goes probably like about five kilometers, maybe more from one end to the next. And it's got these huge cliffs up here. One of the great things about having this van and doing a road trip like this is that you can just pull up and kind of sleep anywhere. But there are a few little restrictions, especially here in Portugal. You're not really allowed to sleep in the, uh, I think they're like the nap natural parks or park de natural anyway so we have to drive a little bit further out and then i think you can pretty much wild camp anywhere but it just is a little bit of a restriction once we've finished up watching this sunset as the sunset has nearly gone down we can go and cook in our van straight away we don't have to go back to an airbnb or anything we've literally got our home on wheels and i kind of love it and i'm so hungry i'm really excited <laughs> Amelia is cooking up some beautiful dinner. It honestly smells so good. We kind of put the roof tent up because when you're cooking and kind of in the kitchen, it's so much easier to have that up and have a bit more space. How's it coming along, Amelia? It's good. I'm just cooking up some vegetables and some chickpeas and some tomato sauce, and it looks really good. It smells really good, and I'm quite mm. excited. And we have a bit of rice in there. Beautiful. Oh, I've steamed up the lens a little bit. It's actually surprisingly comfortable to cook in here because you can kind of sit, you've got this table, you can do your chopping. Here we go then guys, we have our dinner in our van. This is our dining table and I'm looking forward to this. Look how much food Amelia's cooked me. I know, I might have overdone it, especially on the rice, but Joel did the rice, so mm. that's his fault. Now we cook some dinner. As I mentioned earlier, you're not actually allowed to stay on the coast of Portugal. So we're gonna drive a bit further up the coast and we're gonna try and find somewhere we can park, but it's actually legal. Or you can obviously stay at campsites, but we're like, I kind of want a wild camp tonight, maybe somewhere near the beach. Sounds good. Yeah, so let's buckle up. Let's hit the road. Let's hit the road. We have just arrived at what we're gonna call tonight camp. So we are just kind of outside the national park, very close to the coast. We're literally probably 10 meters away from the sea. And we'll show you where we are gonna wake up in the morning because obviously it is pitch black right now. We have our bed set up now and we're gonna go to bed, but we'll see you in the morning and kind of show you where we stayed tonight. This is the spot that we woke up to last night. 10 meters away from the ocean, crashing on the waves, no noise. We slept so well. And we have every single night in this in this van slept incredibly well. I think it's because there's like a thick mattress and it just makes it so comfortable. If you are looking to do a road trip with a van, then I highly recommend Road Surface. I've actually got a discount using the code JOEL2024 or Amelia2024. If you want to use that, then you actually get 95 pounds off. So choose one of these promo codes and you can get that money off on your next road trip when you're using a van. And honestly, it's the best way to get around a lot of countries, whether you're in Europe or lots of other locations around the world. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Our 24 hours in this beautiful van, road tripping around Portugal. We'll see you in the next one where we're doing something even more exciting, flying to a new part of the world. See you then. Bye.